friends, um, please excuse the disaster zone that is behind me. We're still very much moving. I have not picked up a trip at all this month. I like put all my trips towards the end of the month. I'm also about to do my nails. I'm gonna use this pack right here. All you need to do this is I use the glue it comes with. I use the little cuticle pusher and the um, nail file it comes with. And then I just have clips because I'm gonna clip them down a little bit. Actually, these, I don't need this. On these ones, I don't need them. But usually if I buy the ones that are long instead of medium, I use these um, because they just won't stand the test of time against the galley and a little cotton swab with this. So I'm a little in a rush though because I just picked up Paris. I have only been to Paris one time. Sorry to jump in here like this, but I feel like with the holiday season wrapping up, this is the perfect time to buy that thing that you've been eyeing. You get it? I have found the best deals for you this holiday season with GlassesUSA.com, who I do want to thank for sponsoring today's video. So for those of you who do not know, GlassesUSA.com is one of the largest eyewear retailers in the United States, offering over 10,000 different styles of prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off retail pricing, starting at only $39. And what's even crazier is this holiday season, GlassesUSA.com has so many exclusive offers that you are not going to be able to find anywhere else. Plus, if you have FSA or HSA dollars that you've been saving all year, you need to use them ASAP and you'll basically get your glasses for free. Shopping online can be fun, but it can also be extremely overwhelming. That's why I love shopping for my new glasses with GlassesUSA.com because they offer some amazing tools to help you find your perfect pair. One of these tools is the virtual try. On. Also, shopping online at glassesusa.com is a risk free shopping experience with free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days of delivery, no questions asked. And if you have the Klarna app, you can buy now and pay later. Go to glassesusa.com now to check out their holiday offers and don't forget to use your FSA and HSA dollars before they expire at the end of the year. So click the links at the top of my description box below for all of the details. Once again, thank you to glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video. Now let me finish telling you about this trip we're about to take. I'm also gonna be working the number two position in the back galley, unless somebody decides they wanna trade me, which I haven't worked that position. <laughs> In like three or four years and I've only worked that position on another airplane but it used to be my favorite position on the Airbus 330 which is what we flew the internationals in Charlotte out of but today it's gonna be on the Boeing 787-900 so the galley is a bit different on another note though <laughs> On another note, I cannot find my methotrexate and folic acid anywhere. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I have rheumatoid arthritis and those are things I take on a daily basis. And my last pill was today that's in my little pill container and I have no idea where I packed the pill bottles. So that's fabulous. I had to get off the methotrexate for a week to get my flu shot done. So I've just been having so many flare ups, especially with the cold weather coming in. It's just not been fun and moving. I'm riding this struggle bus hard today. And this phone, I'm gonna throw it out the window. My phone usually lives in do not disturb, honestly. I'm just like one of those people where I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. So I've got all the nails lined up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the nail file and the little cuticle stick and push back my cuticles and then lightly file on top of all of my nails just to get any of the natural oil off my nail. And then I will put a little bit of this on the cotton swab and wipe them off just so there's no dust left on the nail because the glue does not like to stick or stay if you've got natural oils or dust on your nails. All right, I'm gonna do my nails and then get the rest of my things together and we will get out of here to go to Paris. Woo! <laughs> okay, and I just wanted to show you guys, so this is the finished product and this will last me about a week and a half to two weeks. I just got to the Dallas airport and you guys, whoa child, it was like defensive driving 101. The amount of people driving on the road that I'm like, y'all need to go back to like driving school. Like it was, it was kind of crazy.
it was kind of crazy what I just witnessed. I did get a lot of questions on my last video of you guys asking me, do I live farther away from the airport now? And the answer is yes, I do. Um, I live about an hour away from the airport, which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things because one, I'm generally a lower time flyer. Two, I tend to work trips that are multi-day sequences instead of just turnarounds. And then three is because I try to fly high credit trips. So trips that are worth a lot of hours for the amount of days that they are. So for example, today is Paris and it's worth, I think like 19 to 20 hours, which is usually what you would make in a four day trip, but I'm only working three days. Now without traffic, it's about an hour drive, which on a line month really isn't bad at all. On a reserve month, you gotta be a little bit careful because they only have to give you a two hour call out window. So they can quit call you and say hey the sign in time is actually an hour and a half but you are allowed to have two hours to get to the airport so having an hour drive you want to get here make sure you have a little bit of room I like to give myself at least 30 minutes here so I can take the shuttle to the airport sign in get to my gate and all of that stuff so that generally gives me about 30 minutes if, if they're short calling me with only my two hour window and that's it that gives me about 30 minutes to get ready pack everything up and be out the door to be here and still have 30 minutes before my actual sign in time. You really just have to make reserve work for you. So next month is gonna be my reserve month. So, so I'm sure that's gonna be um, a lot of fun. I don't miss reserve, not one bit. So let's go ahead and get our stuff out, get on the shuttle, get inside, get signed in and do all the things. Get through security, all the things. <laughs> Bonjour and welcome to Paris, you guys. We have made it. What a crazy day. My whole body aches, but I do need to like start getting ready and chat with you guys at the same time because I'm trying to be out of here. I'm meeting another flight attendant downstairs in 22 minutes, which does not give me a lot of time because I really need to freshen up. So I'm gonna show you the room really fast and then I will set you guys up and we can chat really quick and talk about everything that happened before we're gonna go over to a Christmas market, see the Eiffel Tower do tons of fun stuff and hopefully get a coffee along the way but here let me show you the room all right and here is the room it's nice and tight it kind of reminds me of the London room but a little bit bigger and then we come over and there's the coffee spot up here and then we have the door to the bathroom Ooh, you guys I feel like this bathroom is almost as big as the bedroom but look how Look how pretty this is. So this is gonna be our get up. I also wanna see, do we have a view? Ooh, look at the gardens down here. This is really pretty, you guys. So I'm going to set you up here for now as I get my stuff out. So we were delayed getting out of Dallas because the plane came in from Frankfurt late. And then once we landed in Paris, we somehow took like a wrong turn, turn, <laughs> turn trying to go to customs. So we ended up at the wrong security. It was like a madhouse. They were trying to figure out what to do with us. We had to go through security to get out of that zone to then go backwards to go figure everything out. So it took forever and then the drive over here and all that stuff. So it's already been a minute. Normally this is like a 24 hour layover on this one. Um, but today I think it's like closer to 20, 221. All right, let's go ahead and unpack this. Okay, I set you guys on <laughs> I set you guys on the sliding glass mirror. So, I'm going to just kind of get ready back here. I'm hoping to just touch things up and throw it together and all will be well. We have about 15 minutes, but not really, like more like 10 because we still got to get downstairs. So we gotta make this quick as can be, but nobody wanted to switch me out of the galley position. So it was the first time doing it in so long on a brand new plane. It was so different from what I remember. And it was hard, you guys. I am not gonna lie. It was tough. I am really hoping that the way back will be better. I feel like I have some good tips now on things to like help out because 
every base kind of has their own thing of what they like to do but on top of that every aircraft is different everything is stored in different places and i don't think it's helped oh i'm getting this everywhere i don't think it has helped that i have been having the worst arthritis flare-ups especially with the cold weather and the moving it has just it was rough my body hurts but you know if i did paris like every day I would go ahead and just call it and I would crawl into that bed. I literally was like falling asleep on the shuttle over here because I didn't sleep on the crew rest and we're, we're going on basically being up for over 24 hours. So no joke, if I actually went to Paris even fairly often, I would slam click, I would order some DoorDash and slam click, but I just don't have it in me. You know, I'm not gonna let this stop me. I really want to see the Christmas market, see everything. And I don't even know if this looks good, but whatever. I haven't been to a Christmas market except like once in London a couple years back. I wanted to go in Frankfurt with my husband, but they closed down when we were there. They weren't, they weren't open due to COVID. So I think this is just gonna be so much Fun. I also haven't spray tanned in forever. I've just been way too busy with with the move and and all that stuff that I feel like I haven't even been filming for you guys enough. It's gonna it's gonna be like power hour though, because like I said, I backed I backed all all my trips and stuff up. So now is really when you're gonna be hit with content and try to edit in between moving. I feel like I miss you guys. I don't know if y'all if y'all feel like that but when i haven't like talked to you guys in forever i'm like i miss you i feel like we're like internet friends y'all are like my internet bestie my little internet family i really don't know what's going on y'all if if i mess this up because like i have y'all <laughs> almost directly in front of me if i mess this up if we look a little ugly today will y'all just just like take the quality you see where the quality button where you can like up it and lower it in the in the corner of your YouTube video. It's either over here or over here. Just lower it a little bit. <laughs> Nobody's gotta know. Nobody needs to know what's going on. Okay. All right, that looks whatever. It's it's there. All right, let's get some, let's get some blush, even though this cold weather is gonna naturally, naturally do it to me, but let's kind of try to put ourselves together. We also wanna get some deodorant. Brush our teeth, all that stuff. All right, I feel like we're making money moves. So what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's already 1220. How did that go by so fast? You know when people like film those videos like Ready, wait, get ready with me. And I'm like, oh my god, I don't see the late. Like, you know when you're late, you're like, you're late. I feel like you feel that that energy that comes with being late. My lips are chapped. I don't know if it's if it's smart to go back with matte lipstick right now, because I love my my uh, Kata Cosmetics, all my my liquid lipsticks. I love them to death. You guys know I rock with my own lip, lip liquid. I <laughs> can't speak matte liquid lipsticks, but matte liquid lipsticks are not forgiving for chapped lips. They're just not. So uh, maybe this is gonna be a lip gloss day. I think I have a lip gloss. I think I I think I have one in my little Harrods bag, and that that might just be be what we're doing today. Is a little a little lippy gloss. Yeah. Get some deodorant. Everybody around me is gonna thank me for this. Okay. And sure enough, I have my lip gloss in the shade Pajamas. So this is that's what we're gonna be doing. And we're just gonna throw it over all the leftover lipstick, all the foundation sitting on top of it, all the chapstick I just put on, and we're gonna just ignore how hot mess express that probably looks, but whatever. If you're close enough to see, you shouldn't be that close. Back up. All right, what's next? What's next? We need a, we need to pack a bag. Our hair is just, it's staying like this. I should have brought a hat. Also, um, Paris isn't as strict with liquids, but you have to have all your liquids in a clear bag or a bags, which I did not know. I took a clear bag with me, one of the London ones that are like small, but I was like, all my liquids are not gonna fit in that. And then when we had the whole security mix up, when we were going through security, I saw another clear bag. So I just grabbed it. So hopefully those two bags are gonna be enough. But yeah, all right, let's finish getting dressed, go pack a bag, and I think it'll be time to get out of here because it's 1222.
All right, let's go. So after meeting with the flight attendant downstairs, we decided to first stop at a local bakery and coffee shop that another flight attendant had told us about. He said they have the most amazing ham and cheese sandwiches as well as really good coffee. And we thought it would be nice to have something warm to drink before we walk over to this Christmas market. So the first Christmas market we decided to stop at is called the Village de Noel at the Eiffel Tower. Now this market is a bit smaller, but really packs a punch. I feel like it's very food and drink oriented, but there are stalls with other stuff but the most magnificent thing about this market in particular is the view you basically have a front row seat to the Eiffel Tower so after walking around and getting to see all the little things that this market really has to offer as far as the different foods they sell a lot of the booths also offer samples so don't be shy be sure to try everything they have there there's so many different wonderful things they all smell and taste amazing and then we decided to go over and get some mulled wine or specifically glue vine now this is something that i love to do around the holiday season since my husband's from germany it's just something that really reminds me of christmas time. So after trying to get as warm as possible, we decided to take a 40 minute walk over closer to the Louvre to see another Christmas market. Now this walk is absolutely freezing, so be sure to bundle up, but it was gorgeous. There were so many sights to see along the way, and I highly recommend walking around if you can. Okay, so it's probably gonna be really hard to hear because there's so many people behind me, but we went over to one of the Christmas markets. It was absolutely gorgeous. There was so much shopping, so much food. We got a little glue vine. Now we walk I think about 40 minutes over to another Christmas market and so far we've only hit the beginning but it seems like this one is like more of like a theme park more like rides and like arcade stuff I'm hoping though there will be like some food and something warm to drink because it is freezing it is so cold like this weather is not for the meek but I'm gonna go ahead and explore and take you guys with me so if you're gonna be taking your kids with you to the Christmas market, this is the one you need to go to. It is absolutely massive and there's so many different rides and there's also a skating rink right in the middle, but there's still adult things to do, like different foods to check out, different stalls to shop in. But one of the first things we did is went and got another cup of glue vine just to warm up as we're walking around. And this one actually came with the cutest cup. And then we decided to get some food. I got some curry verst and some pumice. Now this is something that I had in Germany that I was in love with and I was so excited to see it here. Okay, what a day, you guys. Today was so much fun, and I'm not even gonna lie. Like, today really changed my opinions of Paris, because even though I've only been once before, I kind of felt like Paris was pretty overrated. I feel like Paris is very romanticized. I don't know, like very romantic. That's the only way I can really describe it, that you really see Paris. And the last time I was here, I just didn't get that vibe. But today, Today I got it, it all made sense. Like I feel like I romanticized being out, being about, being at the Christmas market, seeing like the Eiffel Tower, doing all the things. Like today felt like, wow, what a stunning city. But <laughs> with that being said, I'm in so much pain. We have walked so far today for so long in the freezing cold and yes, it was freezing cold and I wasn't the only one that was really feeling the freezing cold. I am ready to crawl into that bed and just like kick my feet. Oh, this chair goes back, <laughs> I almost fell. But, but there is one more thing I wanna share with you guys before I completely call it a night. So I went over to a local supermarket called Fran Pricks, Fran Pricks? Um, I thought it was like gonna be like a, a fairly big grocery store, but it wasn't. It was like more of like a, just a very small grocery store. Also, um, one of the flight attendants said that that coffee shop bakery that we went to at the very, very beginning, that that actually opens at 7.30. And so if you wanna go over there and get some good coffee and pastries and stuff before we have to leave tomorrow. Anyways, so I went over just to the convenience store right now and I picked up these Lay's. I have no idea what this flavor is supposed to taste like, but that definitely looks like chicken. I also picked up a little bag of these because y'all know I love my sweet chili chips. So this is Dorito Sweet Chili Pepper. I don't know if these are even gonna compare to my chips that I love in London that are like the sweet chili sour cream because those are amazing. They've been like sold out though. Like every time I go now, they've been sold out. I also got these cookies. I feel like I've had these before, but I don't know why or where, but I really do, and I remember them being good. And then last but not least, I had to do it. I know it's not gonna be the same. Maybe we'll get a real one tomorrow, but I just had to do it. I picked up a bag of croissants. You girls just gotta, 
got to have a croissant. I mean, you're French. You got to have a croissant. So that was everything. I was in such a rush that I forgot to bring my little shopping bags that I love on my trip. So I had to buy a bag. But I think it is finally time to like wash my face, get ready for bed, and go lay down and go to sleep. And I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Night. So I know what you're probably thinking like, cat, why are you not out of bed and getting ready? And that is because I turned on the lights and I got out of bed, opened the curtains and I saw it's still really dark outside. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me just check my phone, see what time the sun rises. And the sun doesn't rise until 8.30. Generally that wouldn't be a problem, except I really don't like just like walking around like in a place I'm not familiar with when it's still dark outside. So that was strike one. But then I quickly realized that everything is um, closed basically because it is Sunday. So that was strike two. And the fact I'm tired is a solid strike three. So I'm thinking I'm about to turn these lights off and um, try to get a little bit more sleep. It's like 623 um, right now. So there's no point in us being up this much when the shuttle time is until nine and yeah so i'm about to get up turn all the lights off and then um maybe we'll get up at like 7 30 ish good morning you guys so i got a little bit of sleep the second time around, once I laid back down, which I feel like I really needed that. I couldn't get the coffee machine to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So we've had no coffee this morning. So maybe at the airport, there'll be like a little shop that we can get like coffee and a sandwich or something. I already obviously, <laughs> I started doing um, my hair and makeup. So pretty much done with that. And I also already separated out my liquids. Now the bag won't zip and I could have sworn I could have sworn I brought a bag with me already and then I had the one that I, I got yesterday like I told you guys at security. But this is the only one I can find and I think this is the one I got at security so I don't know where the bag ended up that I brought but I can't even, I literally can't even zip the bag like she's full full. So I don't think they're that strict as long as it's just in its own separate, separate thing. So I don't know what happened with that but I'm just trying to pack up the rest of my stuff. They already gave a wake up call, which I was kind of surprised because here, when you have the wake up call, it gives you the option to press snooze, which I thought, okay, I'm gonna press snooze, it'll just turn itself off. And then all of a sudden, like, I think it was like five minutes after, they started calling me again. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't realize that when you press snooze, they're actually gonna call again. Normally, you're done. Like, there's no snooze, like, that's it. They're not calling again, you better be up, type of thing. Uh, so, I guess that was new, but yeah, I'm just trying to get everything all all put together. Ooh, you guys, look. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to tell. Oh, I don't think it's showing up on camera, but the sky is like all pink. Okay, let's see if my iPhone does a little bit better. Do you see all the pink up there? And then you come over and you can see the sun rising with all the colors. I feel like I have to sneeze. My hair did not want to straighten all the way. I don't know, I love straightening my hair, but like I feel like because my hair is naturally curly, it just doesn't always like to straighten. It always ends up doing something like this, where it's like, who asked for you? To be here. I'm opening up the flight to see what it's gonna look like, how many meal specials there are gonna be as of now. It obviously can change once it gets closer to the flight, but this generally gives you a pretty pretty good idea of what you're working with. Okay, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna have more than yesterday for sure. Yesterday I only had three, so I was really lucky. So today 
I'm gonna have um, four, five, six, seven. And they're all, almost all different kinds. So there's like Asian vegetarian, gluten-free, Muslim meal, and vegan. So they're all kind of over the map of what we gotta have. So that's really important when you're at the galley because you need to make sure that they're on the plane. You're gonna have to make sure that they have like the trays and the meals and then whenever you're setting everything up, you gotta see at what seat they're on and get them all set up and lined up on the carts that they're gonna be at. So that way it kind of goes a little bit seamlessly like when everybody get their meals, the specials also get their meals kind of thing. But we got like like uh, 35 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the rest of my bags unpacked, get dressed, and I guess we will get out of here. Um, so it's been a couple days since this trip happened. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get a video up for you guys in a while, but um, this is the main culprit why. This is our foster puppy. Her name is Lucy. We are fostering her with the love pit who you guys might remember when we fostered Gwen with. We have a new puppy. We're still trying to move. It's just the holidays. Everything has been crazy. So I am super sorry, but coming back from Paris was way, way, way better. Like I took all the tips I got, which trust your senior mamas and papas. They know what they're talking about when they give you advice. It is so helpful to listen. So everything just flowed better. And as the galley position, you set the tone for the rest of the flight. You set the pace of everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of how that went, but I'm going to go ahead and call this one. I have a house full of dogs. I have to look after and a lot of stuff to do, but if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in just a couple of days.